at all if the infraorbital foramen is seen it's okay if it's not seen don't worry now once this is done you locate the zygomatic bone which for your understanding i am just drawing right now is this bone over here okay and we wish to enter this zygomatic bone so wherever the meat of the zygomatic bone is there where it is starting from there you take approximately 5 mm marking this is point b so you have your point a point b and before you start you just palpate which you can palpate extra orally also i just palpate over here and i can make out yes this is my zygomatic bone so this is the rough point c which is roughly 5 mm away but we cannot like the point c will come automatically it is just that this is where we intend to exit okay 5 mm away from the orbit so now first what i do is i uh, dr bhumika can you just hold this like this for me yeah okay and you will be able to see also meanwhile yeah is a foot control please yeah just pass the foot like so what we will be doing is first at around with a 20s to 1 hand piece after the reflection we just mark this point which we wish to enter here okay if you see before i do this the idea here is you can even take a pencil and if this is where you want to exit roughly i draw with the pencil and join these two points and just check like this okay this is where i intend to go now you need to understand that the zygomatic bone like the maxilla is like this but the zygomatic bone is lying like this slightly laterally so this is the reason we need to create a tunnel so the first thing what we do is to create the tunnel is take this drill and just enter the zygomatic bone here okay here done done that's it i have made a entry okay i made the entry now what i will do is uh, i will take the you can you give me a straight hand piece if i use the diamond drill it will take lot of time straight so hand i need to create a tunnel which is joining point a b and point b but if i use my diamond